Okay. Gonna be looking at today at blue and it's strange power, the power of blue the chroma killer. What I'm gonna do is put some uh, put some red out there. And a bit of lemon yellow. So that's Pyrrole Red PR twenty two five four. Lemon yellow PY3. And I'm gonna use ultramarine, but you could use salo. Blue it makes absolutely no difference, I don't think. I'll prove that in a minute. So we've got three primary colours here. I don't know if you can see that last one. Hang on a sec. There it is. <laughs> and let's let's um, look at what happens if you add start adding shall we so let's, let's add red to yellow to red so it doesn't look like there's much yellow in there at the moment it looks like just red doesn't it but there's actually quite a significant amount of yellow in there okay a little bit more still really red and i've added loads of yellow to it yeah shows how Little imp, what little influence yellow has, it's got practically no value. And um, it takes a lot of it to influence the colour. So see I've chucked a load of, load of yellow in there. In fact so much so I'm going to have to squeeze out more. I thought I'd put out more or less the same amounts, but obviously I haven't. Maybe I have, anyway. Now we've got much brighter red than the one we started with. Let's clean the knife a bit. And I'm going to add some blue. Now, you see at the moment what a lovely rich red that is. It's a warm, rich red, yeah. Um, now make it even orangier. Stick some more yellow in there now. Tons of yellow in there now. Um, it's a vibrant colour. About a mid tone, somewhere around the mid mid range, tone there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a teeny tiny. Now this being a warm red, remember it's got yellow in it already, so it's yellow plus tons of yellow. And this is um, ultramarine blue, so it's blue plus a little bit of red. So three primary colours that work here. I'm going to stick, and you see that teeny tiny bit of blue in there. Okay, it is instantly starting to darken it. Such a tiny amount, a teeny tiny amount. It's already started to kill it. Okay, that's what we're aiming for to prove the chroma killer power, power of blue. Think about it, a lot of the colours you look at as muted colours actually contain blue, strong blue influence in them. Now this is really still a very red mix. Get a little more blues, get a bit more aggressive with that. Now it's become, it's much darker red than it was before. It's still a sort of Bricky red. Maybe some more blue. Maybe much darker now. Okay, now what I'm going to do at this stage, I'm going to just take some of that off, put it over there, and add more blue. Okay, we're going to go in with a massive blob of blue now. Now, what I have now. Is a very desaturated red, kind of a red mix. Um, get some white in there, actually. Don't I can see it? Hang on a sec. Um, okay. I'll use that in a sec. Just put some more blue in there. 
And we nearly probably got nearly even amounts of blue and red. Blue and red are the big players in most mixes because they control the temperature of your colors. Now, that is now still quite a warm, but very dark brown. Okay. I'm still going with even more blue now. I'm going to whack in the blue some more. Okay, now what we have, I don't know if you can see that very well. Now what we have is in fact a kind of, kind of black. Um, let's add a bit of white to it and see what colour it actually is. It's actually not bad. It's, um, it's a very warm grey. Still. So I'm going to do move that one side, clean the knife, get the white off, stick more blue in. The blue has darkened the, the mix for the start. It's also robbed it of all its chroma pretty much. There's hardly any colour left in that now. now. Um, I'm going to add the last bit of blue. Because it's cancelled out a lot of the light waves that were present with red and yellow. I think. No, they get too technical. Just showing what, what actually happens rather than what I think happens. Okay, so now you have a um, grey purple. So I'm going to chuck in some more ultramarine blue. It's still a bit warm to me. And your colours would do one or two things. They'll either go warm and they'll be on the red side of things, or they'll be uh, cool, they'll be the blue side of things. And adding yellow will be the missing one of the three primaries, and that will cancel out any colour at all because you, 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 once all three are mixed together in the right ratios. You lose all colour completely. Well, there you go. You now have a warm, rather warm purplish grey. So, a little bit more blue. <laughs> it's like watching someone mix paint, isn't it, really? Not necessarily the most entertaining thing on the, on the planet. And I've now pushed that to yeah, grey. This is grey now. So add, add, some, add some white to that. You can see that. See that? Let's add some more white. You can see it further. Clean the knife off a bit. Yeah, there you go. Now I have grey. You can see that as well. Look at grey. Now what's happened is is the blue has cancelled out the um, the, the light waves from what hard. I don't, to be honest, I'm not a scientist, but what I, <laughs> I'm a colour mixer. But what I can tell you is adding the, the blue and red together gives you a purple. Okay, so you could go about this in a whole manner of um, ways. What you could do is mix um, blue and yellow, make a green and add some red. Or you could mix um, blue and red and make a purple and add some yellow. But if you work on adding and subtracting these three primaries, eventually you'll end up with a black. But in my experience, the colour that robs your um, your chroma, your richness from and, and think about it, actually most of the rich colours, warm colours that we're trying to sort of keep rich are on the warm side of the spectrum. They're they're the reds and yellows and oranges, yeah. 
but the color that's going to um, rob them of their vibrancy is going to be blue so if you want muted colors that are initially red or on the warm side of the spectrum add blue add blue it's just off screen and at the moment i think you know add the blue blue for me i would say blue is the chroma killer <laughs> kind of catchy in it but it i think it does i think it does actually um mute and uh, flatten deaden most of your colors and actually black is most of the blacks the tube blacks that we have including um well not so much mars black mars is about as neutral as you can get but certainly ivory black lamp black they're all very blue and so really black generally speaking is a very desaturated dark blue blue again being used to and that's why when you add blue or black sorry if you add black to a lot of colors you instantly kill them you, you, you start to rob them of their of their color and that's the same with with white actually white does the same thing if you add um add white to a color you're gonna it, it is a combination of all the three primaries and if you add a white to a color it, it starts to kill it, it robs it flattens it takes it, it takes all its um chrome away and black does the same thing if you add black to a, a primary color or any other color it will start to rob it of its saturation its chroma so there you go it's uh, primary colors to to black now if i want to turn that into if i want to turn that into a um like uh, an indigo then I'll just add a load of black to it oh blue sorry <laughs> blue to it I now have added a load of blue to it, look. And if I just get rid of that a second. Um, clean knife, yeah. I'll add white to that. What have we got? We've got a, we got a purpley, but deep purpley blue. Add more blue. Yeah, more blues that that once was black and that is now actually a pretty good indigo yeah indigo is um warm blue and cool blue added to um black generally in, in mixes but you can you can mix it up from primary colors so there you go anyway there you go i hope that was helpful that's a lot